morning or good day, <laughs> everyone. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm Reed, and this is Reed's Beauty Chip. And this is my sample size blitz. I don't have anything on my face because we're going to play with some of my stuff. So first off, we're going to go through my empties. And I, I guess because some of them I had not finished for quite a while, um, my samples blew up. I don't know what else to say. I have a ton of empties. Mm, a ton. Mm. So we're just going to jump into these empties because it's going to take a hot minute. Uh, I'll be honest. It's, it's going to take a minute. Let me readjust this camera. So... One that has been in here for the last couple months, so I'm so excited to finish this up, is the Dr. Jart's Sika Pear, um, the tiger grass. Finally, I literally just finished this up this morning. This struggle has been real. Um, but it's done. Uh, yay! It is not my favorite Sika. I will be honest, I don't like it. I There's other ones out there that I like so much better. Better tiger grass formulas, uh, formulas with tiger grass, all that. So, um, I will not buy that as a full size. Oh, it's getting situated here. The next one is a sample I was sent. Well, these are all samples I was sent. I don't know what to say. Um, the native deodorant, um, coconut and vanilla. For a natural deodorant, this is a fave for me. It lasts all day. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, it's probably one of the top natural deodorants I've experienced so far. Now, it does have a price tag on it. it is, I mean, they've, they've put the work, research, and everything into it. But it is so, uh, so worth it. <laughs> if you're wanting to go natural deodorant and you're frustrated with a lot of the natural deodorants out there, this is the way to go. This one, native. Love. I finished up my... Aveeno, positively mineral sensitive skin. Sunscreen, if you know me, I always have sunscreen in my on my desk. So, but I had one of those little guys and I wanted to use it up. One of my favorite, favorite fragrance by Kate Spade, Live Colorfully. Um, I had this little uh, body cream that I was, like, would keep in my jacket pocket or in my purse. And uh, I finished that up. I really kept it in my jacket per pocket more than anything. <laughs> Another one was my dry shampoo mist. I really like this R and Co. Uh, it's a mist versus the. I like this kind of dispenser for it, versus. Um, versus these. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. So I really like this mist versus. You know the the. The spray cans, I like these. I like the pump ones way better. Another one I was excited about is my little one of my little travel size scrubber your lives. So like I said, I haven't been traveling. This is in the wrong project. So we're gonna put it in a different one because it's in the wrong one. Never mind. Ugh. Sample size, but it's wrong. It's a deluxe sample. Okay. Hold on. These are the containers for it. Um, another one I finished, and it was kind of fascinating because, okay, so this is the Clarins, and there was like, I think, seven days worth of this in here, five or five to seven. So it, it was a good, it was a decent amount of stuff to try. <sighs> How many was there? Is it seven? I see six. <sighs> There's got to be seven. Okay. So it's a week's worth to try. Um, so it has the, t when you crack it open, it has the two serums on both sides and you mix them together and stuff. Um, I love this. It had the turmeric in it, um, the vitamin C and stuff, and you guys know how much I love vitamin C. So I really, really, this, I was impressed with it for Clarence. I was. Um, but I have so many serums I love. But if I was, this this would be in my top 10. I wouldn't put it in my top 5, but I would put it in my top 10. Of, yeah. Then I had a couple touches I drawn. One was the melting eye cream. Yes, I love it. I don't like the price tag on it. Let's be honest. I do not like the 
price tag on it. The other one is the Tatcha Violet Sea Brightening Serum. Another serum, um, you know, this was only like enough to do <laughs> one. Um, I wish that samples like this would be bigger uh, because for the price tag that's on this thing, they need a deluxe sample, not a basic sample. Another one I used up, Tatcha. Let's just say I finished up a lot of Tatcha. Um, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I like this. Um, it only had like a couple. And I even like with the little bit of extra, like I took off the top and went to put it in another one. And there was like nothing. I mean, this thing sucked it all up. There was nothing left. <laughs> um, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, for a facial mist, there is other ones, natural ones, more cost friendly ones that are just as good. Um, like I said, the price tag on Tatcha, you have to truly, truly be committed. And, and there's some stuff by Tatcha, but there's dupes out there for Tatcha that I have just really jumped on the bandwagon about because the ingredients, the application are identical for a lot of Tatcha products. But, you know, if you're a diehard Tatcha, this is cool. Chances are, though, I'm pretty sure I have a dupe for it. I know I do for the other ones. <laughs> Then I have my night lotion. I re really tried to use up all these. <laughs> Let me just say, some of these might have went on my arms and my legs versus my face at night. <laughs> but Polar, it wasn't bad. Um, there's a cooling one I like better. Yeah, it's I can't even. Yeah, uh, it wasn't bad, but <sighs> I don't know if it relaxed me. Um, there's other ones out there that I think are way more for relaxing and helping me sleep at night. That's not one of them. Another one I finished up was my Cover FX. Look at all these samples. Um, this is the matte mattifying primer and acne treatment. I don't have acne, um, but the mattifying sometimes, you know, that extra shine. I don't want that. I don't always need to be shiny <laughs> or sparkly or so it works really good. Um, it wasn't bad. It really, really wasn't. <laughs> Another one I finished up, which is one of my faves, is the Belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I love their moisturizing balm line. Um, I have been really happy with their moisturizing balm line. I live in a dry climate. <sighs> um, so, yeah, this is not a bad brand at all. And there's, they've got so many outlets to purchase from. I, um, I do enjoy them. They do have a little bit of a ticket on them. <laughs> Then I have, oh, sometimes when I'm on my desk and I need to just clean my brushes real quick, I have these little handy-dandy singles wipes for my brushes. They're just, I just picked them up, sorry. Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Primer. Um, this was really nice. I liked it. Again, if I didn't have my number seven Radiance Primer which I love, um, this would definitely be a must. <laughs> I officially hate late fall. Um, let's see, do I have a couple? Okay. Okay. Then we had the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. There was not much in this. Um, maybe three... You know, at least some of the, like my mascaras, it's like 30 days worth. This did only a couple days. And I love this primer. I have this. I have tossed it. Um, <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, I have that primer in my, in my drawer. I have it full size. That would have been great for travel if it was a short trip. You know, if I go up to visit my daughter or something like that and stayed overnight, that would have been great. Because, like, literally it had three uses and then it was done. So that was the only shame. The only one I have is the Lancome Big Monjou. <laughs> um, this is the second one I've had. I um, love this one. I always get a kick out of it. It does have the full-size brush in it, because sometimes you get these mascaras, and they do not have the full-size brush in them. <laughs> and you're like, that doesn't work the same. <laughs> um, it's the second time I've gotten that sample. Uh, it might be a hint, hint, I need to buy the mascara. But to me, um, L'Oreal Voluminous really matches that. And L'Oreal owns Lancome, so I'm wondering if sometimes if the formulas aren't 
really on track with each other. <laughs> so, to me, I like my voluminous, and to me it works just as good as the big mon monjou, big monjou. <laughs> Another one, the Glam Glow Bright Eyes. It wasn't bad, but I didn't see any brightening. I didn't see, um, actually, I could see more of this underneath than I wanted to see. I'll be honest. <sighs> Last three empty items. Woo woo! The MAC Strobe Cream Luminous. I, I didn't see. I saw no strobing. So. Um, and it took a little while to use this up. A little goes a long way, let me tell you. And then, oh, I love this. The Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum Luminous Translucent Peach Extract and Peptide Complex. First off, I love peach. If you guys know me, you know I love peach. Second, you know I love peptides. I'm all about the skincare. The peptides are a must. This, I want to, just, I want to research more on Peach and Lily. Um, I was so... It's a K-Beauty, because it's made in Korea. Um, this is definitely on my list to research. I just really was impressed with them and stuff, so I definitely want to find out more about these, because I love this serum. I finished one of my mini NYX. This one was in Antwerp. Antwerp? Um... I have a bunch of them right here, back here. I had, I bought all the vaults one year, so they're all this size. So I'm trying to get these used up before they go bad, because I hate to waste stuff. I just hate to waste stuff, period. Just end of, yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, so what I'm working on on my desk, we're going to put it on my face as we go. Because that's the best way to do it. Have I put moisturizer on? No, I have not yet. So the moisturizer I have that we are working on is the Boshia Chia Seed Moisture Cream. And as you can tell, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, so we're going to put some of that on because, you know, we need to demonstrate that I'm actually using my samples, not that you can't tell that I have a whole stack of here. <laughs> but I'm fascinated by this chia seed. Now, I've seen a lot of products with hemp seed oil, but the chia seed one fascinates me, so I want to know more. <laughs> so, that is um, in, on my makeup table, and one that I'm using up right now. Another, um, Moisturizer, which I, I like this too. Um, I need to check it out more. Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin. The Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion um, with Icelandic Kelp. Oh my gosh. <sighs> um, I love this. <sighs> I do. <sighs> and I don't want to use it up, but it feels so good. Especially um, later, like when I take off my makeup, when I get home from work and stuff a lot of times, later in the day, this feels so good. <sighs> I love it. Another moisturizer I am working on is the By Origins, the Mega Mushroom Release Resilient Soothing Treatment Lotion. I don't think it's soothing at all. I keep not wanting to use it, so it's just sitting there. Nighttime routine, which I, if you guys have watched the last few months, these things have not moved. I keep forgetting they're there. I'm using a different retinol and a different stuff. So I need to uh, put that stuff in the drawer and finish this stuff up because you can't. I don't use them the same night. I do alternate. One's the Pharmacy Honey Glow uh, AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. It is almost gone. I'm, I'm sure of it. It's got to be. <laughs> and then the Luna one. It uh, it's literally half there. <laughs> I the sun by Sunday rally. I don't like it. How do I how do I else say this? I don't like this one. <laughs> I just don't. There's three other retinols that are drugstore retinols that trump that one. <laughs> Yes, I sound so biased. I'm sorry. Another one that I'm working on in this I, is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. And it's halfway. So we're halfway there. That And that's a two-in-one plumbing moisturizer and serum. I don't like when they mix my moisturizers and serums together. Let's be honest. That's not my thing. 
I want my serum. Maybe if I travel or if I'm having one of those days that, yeah, that's great. Um, I do treat that one more as a serum versus a moisturizer. So I double moisturize, I guess, in theory. But, okay. Is that all the skincare in there? Oh. Mm -hmm. Then I have the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. I'm trying to use that up. I'm getting there. It's getting there. It's just not there yet. Okay, so let's put on some primer. My face is set long enough. Actually, I'm going to spritz it real quick just to give it a... We're going to go in with the Porefessionals Hydrate Primer. I'm going to be so hydrated. So hydrated. It's 37 degrees out, but um, it get, it's getting up after the sun comes up. Then it gets about at noon, and it's like 70 plus after 12 o'clock. So, go figure. It just can't make up its mind. Okay. We're going to go through a couple more things real quick. I got my primer on, and then I have a Pure Leafs Youth Glow Vitamin C CC Cream SPF 15. Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I've been so impressed. And they did send me the right color. They did send it to me in light. I got one that was in medium. I'm like, I, I, I haven't been medium in three decades. <laughs> uh, so I love this CC Cream. And we're going to put this on like a foundation as soon as I find my sponge. <sighs> that I forgot to soak. <sighs> like a ding dong. <sighs> I just need to keep a little, like a little um, bowl of water. Very tranquil. <sighs> okay. So you can see how this goes on. I have been, like I said, I've been so happily impressed with this. And I, I put stuff on the back of my hand. It's, my hand is my palette. If you haven't known that yet. But I'm, like, really having fun with this CC cream. So, this is a um, project pan that was created by Kana's Closet, um, RD Bunny Lover, who, oh my gosh, I love Anya. I do. And then Alex, Alexei. Um, and that was to use up your samples and stuff like that. With all this stuff going on, I know a few of them have taken a break from filming because of what's going on, which scares the crap out of me. Because one of them I consider a very good YouTube friend. And I worry about her. So. But yeah. We're just patting this on. So yeah. Okay, clean off the back of my hand, or then I forget, and then I've got stuff on the back of my hand. Okay, so I'm going to show you what else is on my desk that I'm working on. Things that I've not even touched, that I've just been an epic fail about, let's just be honest. But, we will get there. Other than my, you know... I mean, my night my night stuff has been an epic fail because I have a different... I have stuff I really like, and it's so hard to use what... You know, I'm like, I'm just not feeling you. I'm just not feeling you. Okay. This one has not been touched at all, except I think when I drew it and tested it. And this is the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. I'm going to try. I really am going to try. Then we have the Milk... Um, this little blurring... Blurring stick. 
Oh. Blur stick. Oh. I, I, you know what? I'll grab this one, which is my number seven one, over this one. And I just really, I need to, I need to hide the number seven one away from me, so I don't grab it. But it's not happening. <laughs> This is the Perfect Smooth oil, smooth Hair Oil. Who is this by? Is this is the brand called Perfect? Oh. I think the brand's called Perfect. Oh, Nat Nature Lab. I haven't used any of this yet. I am trying to finish up some other hair product. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just call it. I just have not used it yet. So, the other one that's in my collection is the Tarte Big Eagle Mascara. I got that one in, um, and I tried it on. It was in, I think, was it in Ipsy? I think it was in Ipsy. Um, I feel like there should be no ego to this mascara. I'm just saying. And then, oh, and I love this. The Watermelon Burst Lip Oil. I'm, I'm on a, I love lip oils right now. And I do not understand why I keep forgetting to grab this. Oh, I know why. Because I have a different lip oil in my jacket. Um, by Ciate. The watermelon kick, I'm fine with it. You guys keep doing the watermelon kick. I am fine with this. So that's what's on my desk. So what are we adding to my desk today? So, here's the bag. It kind of got... Do I have stuff in the side? No. Yes? No? What is that? Missed the trash can and it fell down the side. Okay. So we, we're putting 10 new items in here, in theory. And I'm just going down one side. And I think everything's fair game right now, even the nighttime stuff, I don't care. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go down another side. And I'm not looking. So it's whatever I grab is what I gotta work on. Oh, good no. Okay, we're probably going to add some more moisturizer. <laughs> okay, so, and I've not heard of this. Decorte Liposone Moisture Liposone. So we're adding moisturizer. Interesting. Is that a stopper? I'm like... And I have not ever opened this one, so I don't know. I'm going to jack up my nails this way. Oh, we're not playing with that no more. Anyway, so that, another moisturizer. Moisturize, moisturize. I'm in a dry climate, so, you know, step it up, step it up. Okay, then we have Cranberry Gommage. Oh, an exfoliating cream. Used two to four times a week. I do it only once or twice. My skin does not like to over exfoliate. I have friends that exfoliate every day. I'm so proud of you. I can't do it. I just can't. So that's going to go to the bathroom. This one is Kors Nourishing Probiotic Gel Cream. For what part of your body? Hold on. Apply to face and neck. So we're doing more moisturizer, except avoid eye area. So this one is time released hydration, yogurt, another moisturizer. Okay, so maybe next month, no moisturizer. No moisturizer allowed. Another moisturizer, but I love this moisturizer. Um, this is the Vichy Peptide C. Um, oh, it's vitamin C, it's peptides, vitamin C, hello. Um, this is in its own class, as far as I'm concerned. If you like vitamin C, check this check this one out. Okay, crap. Okay. If there's any more moisturizers, they gotta go back. I just added I just added three moisturizers to where I already had four in there. Okay, I was sent this little hand sanitizer by Ofra. Single use, that should not take long. Ta-da! Put that in my purse. Then this is the Laura Mercier, I assume mascara. Cavi caviar volume. Let's see what the brush looks like. I'm oh I always want to look at the brushes. Oh. Okay, the brush is a style I like. So we're gonna be playing with that one. So now I have two mascaras in there. Then what do we got? If this is moisturizer, it's going back. No, it's a gentle gel facial cleanser, geranium leaf bergamot. Ooh, bergamot. Very wild smelling. So that's a cleanser. Yay! Not that I don't have 
seven cleansers in my shower right now. This is a conditioner. My amazing replenish hydrating cleanser. Conditioner, I mean. I'm on cleanser kick now. Um, conditioner. So, yay, a new conditioner, which I have a conditioner in there that's in a project pan, but that's okay. This is a little guy. We will play with it. Then we have... Okay, so I have the rose, fresh rose lip balm in my jacket right now. Now we're getting the fresh sugar, fresh sugar mint rush. So I have another lip balm. Lippy, lippy love. Okay. It's cute. I love my rose one. Very minty. Now, people that have sensitivities to their lips, I don't recommend these things when they have mint, mint to them. But it's refreshing lip treatment. Anything that's a lip treatment that has mint in it, I always question because of the epidermis on your lips. Um, I'm not sure how I recommend this. I really don't. If you're for lip treatment. For lip balm, yes. Lip treatment, mm, no. I don't think so. And the last, but not least, and this is one I have used before and I threw it back in here because I was like, why is this on my desk? Which is, this is perfect timing. I can switch out one highlighter for another. And this is the Winky Lex Diamond Powder in Medium. Actually, I think this is more of a setting powder. It is. It's a setting powder. So that'll be, that's something different. So all that stuff, skincare. And I got, well, and the mascara. And I got one setting powder. <laughs> so I got a mascara and setting powder. Everything else, skincare, bath care. <laughs> so I guess that's what I'm working on. Which, really, that's what most of this was, except like primers and mascara, too. So <laughs> there's always going to be some mascara, eye product, I guess, in here. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> but um that's what i'm working on guys um it was a little longer i do apologize putting stuff on my face and really kind of telling you if i would if i would buy the full size if i have the full size if i want the full size um some of them yes some of them no not with the ticket on them no and i know that sounds so bad and so snotty but you know there's dupes out there for a lot of them especially nowadays a lot of drugstore companies are going to laboratory levels and they're doing stuff at laboratory levels or they're using the same factories for their product to be made as some of these prestige lines are so always take that into mind when you're shopping look into it look at and look at where it is on the list sometimes when they brag about a product or what they have in it they have it at the bottom of the ingredient list so it's so minuscule, it really doesn't help um, what you're doing and what you're wanting to do for your skincare routine. So also check that out. So hopefully you subscribe, thumbs up if you uh, like this video, and comment below if you're interested in comment below. I'll talk to you soon.